Good afternoon. This is Dr. Sharon Grossman coming to you live today to share with you seven secrets to success that my client had experienced. So I thought it would be an interesting thing to find out what do other people find are the keys to success because it's a lived experience for them and how to share that with the world so everybody else can benefit. If we haven't had the pleasure of meeting before, I am a psychologist, a coach, and a speaker, and I specialize in working with professionals such as attorneys and physicians who work in really high-stress environments and helping them to really find solutions to burnout so that they can live a productive and happy life. So what are some of these tips that maybe can help you be even more successful in your career and your life? So here's what my client shared with me. She was somebody who felt really stuck and unha unhappy in her life. And through going through this process, here's what she discovered. The first secret for her success was that she started to pay attention more to herself and less to what other people thought. Now, how many of you find yourself in situations where you worry so much about what everyone else is going to think? Well, that really keeps you stuck because you're not being authentic to yourself. So the key here is to really pay attention to what you want and what you need and making sure that you listen to that and not to any outside influences. The second thing was not just to listen to your mind, but she also said she listened more to her body. What does that mean? Well, that means you need to get enough rest and enough exercise so that your body is thriving because your body is your vehicle. It is great to have all kinds of ideas and things that you wanna do in your life, but if your vehicle is falling apart, then you're not gonna be able to reach those goals. And so that's her second tip. Third is to really be vulnerable with other people. And she was able to do that through self-compassion. One of the things we learn about self-compassion is that it's really all about how we, number one, talk to ourselves, how we treat ourselves. Are we compassionate? Are we kind? Or are we more critical and judgmental? So she was able to start out by just being a little bit kinder to herself, let go of the perfectionism. But more importantly, with regards to other people, it was about noticing that, you know what, we're all in this together. If I'm experiencing this difficulty, so is somebody else. And so sharing my vulnerable story helps me to connect with those people. And I don't know if you've had this experience, but typically when we share with somebody else, that is an invitation for them to open up and share about their story because believe it or not, we all have these stories. So tip number four is to really set boundaries to help reduce the work life. Now, Often I hear from my clients, especially with lawyers and physicians, that there is always more work, there's more clients, they don't want to leave the work behind and have it fall on somebody else, and they sometimes run themselves down to the ground. One of the things to think about is how to create boundaries so that you can be taking care of yourself. In order for you to do that, you need to be able to have more balance between your work life and your personal life. So think about what kinds of boundaries you can set so that when you are at work, you're not feeling overworked, you're not taking on too many responsibilities. And when you leave work, how to really leave work behind so you can maximize your personal time. Tip number five is to really reorganize what's important. That really is uh, tapping into a time management technique of prioritizing. If you're familiar with it, there's usually two aspects that we look at, what's important and what's urgent. And ideally, we don't really wanna be constantly putting out fires and dealing with crises. So ideally, you eliminate those and then you can really just focus on what's most important in your life and in your work rather than spending your time on things that don't really matter. Again, this helps you tune in to a sense of purpose and doing things that are meaningful. Tip number six is to trust yourself to figure things out. So sometimes we are faced with challenges and we don't really know how they're going to turn out. Maybe it's something that you've never been exposed to before and you're not really sure what to do, but it's just this principle that you can trust yourself that 
somehow you will figure it out. Maybe it means that you will call somebody who can help you figure it out. Maybe it means that you do some research online, or maybe it's that you just tune into yourself, to your intuition and figure it out that way. Whatever the case may be is trusting yourself to find the solution rather than becoming overcome with anxiety and just completely getting stressed out by the problem or the situation. And now finally, for our last tip for success, what my client had experienced was that she really changed the focus within her job on the things that she wanted to do. Often our work can be things that we love to do, things that we dread doing. So how can you maximize your time spent on the things that you actually love and maybe delegate or outsource those other things? If you can do that, you will be spending more time in a really positive space. Your energy will be very positive and you will feel better. It'll energize you and when you leave work, you're gonna be so excited to go home and to share about your day and to look forward to other aspects of your life. So I'm hoping that all of these tips together give you an idea of how you can start to bring these elements into a successful and happy life as well, just like my client did. Now, if you wanna talk about your situation and maybe some of the challenges that you're facing and how to implement these tips, you can certainly sign up for your complimentary consultation with me. And that is something that you can find on my website, which is coachingbysharon.com. So looking forward to speaking with you, hearing all about your comments and good luck on your journey.